Cool storytellers of storytelling, Ron. I was not planning on doing this video, but since it's in the news um, and very, and I've been following it pretty closely, um, following uh, someone on YouTube that has a heartbreaking story. Um, and, um, and here's another young woman who has a heartbreaking story about this. And what does that have to do with me or for the Lord? Art? Well, it has to do with everyone, of course. But um, as, as I've been creating for the Lord RPG, um, I've been researching missionary work back in the medieval times and dark ages. And um, this is what I'm coming across. It's like, it's like we're being, you know, we're, we're not taught real history. It's really uh, annoying and frustrating. And then the world culture is erasing history. I think it's a way, or I think it's inherently and naturally erasing history um, as tyrants do so that you don't know that it's happened before it's already, it's happened before and it's happening again, the same evil. The first tool of evil is deception. Um, and then it just goes on from there. And the best deception is a horrible education system. You know, Christianity spread and created universities and schools because it needed to educate the population so that they could study the Bible. The first printing, the first printing book that was printed was desperately printed by who? Christians. Because the first printing ever of a book. So the, the explosion of access to information was done by Christians to, um, and they desperately wanted the Bible to get out to everybody so that they could read it for themselves and study it for themselves. And, um, and what's happening to these poor young girls and young boys is they're being paganized. This is paganism. Um, and the reason I, this hits me at, uh, hard because hard as that but be, but I'm, you know, I'm just trying to trying to not I'm not trying to say I'm suffering like they are but I'm reading this let me just go to full uh, let me let me just go through the article and then I'll come to this book or in my research um <clears throat> so look she's she, she was brought up I mean you know 14 15 I mean you guys can read the article it's on not the b um uh, what uh February 24th um and there's others too and I'm so grateful and glad that they're fighting the good fight that they're that they're going to sue the the horrible witches, they're the witches and the sorcerers who did this. That's what I'm calling them because I'm just using history. I'm learning history and I'm, and I'm taking history from the sources, not from, from say 2000, 2010 on our history is being erased. It's being rewritten. So if you, if you're looking for stuff for history, try to get books that were published before 2010 ish, 2005. Um, because the people today are rewriting history and they're hiding the paganism. I mean, chemical and surgical castration or sex change interventions. I mean, they're butchering our children. How could this, this is so crazy and new. No, it's not. It's not new at all. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to me now, just the full screen, just so you can see the book. Um, so the book I'm reading of, of one of many, and I, I actually made a video of all the books I'm reading, but um, I don't know. I did with it. Well, it's on my phone or something. Anyway, is Hammer of Witches. This is a uh, 13th, 14th century. And this is sort of what they claim is, oh, the, the start of the horrible witch trials and inquisitions and all that stuff. And we're, and that's, that's what they're doing too. They're rewriting history to claim that Christians were horrible and evil. And so my game is, re, is and, and me studying is realizing, wow, wow. No wonder they're saying that because evil, evil will never apologize for their evil and evil will always blame the good. So you got to remember that evil will evil ever apologize for their evil. Will they? No. They will always seek the good to blame. And Christianity is, is the force of good in, in civilization, period. Paganism is corrupt, horrible. But what, pe what people did to people in massive scales, and horrifying scales. Um, just think of the, the gladiators. The gladiator arenas is a pagan form of entertainment. And I'm going to get... This is definitely an adult video. The, the, um... One one account is that they, they they here's what the pagans love they love to see them eat, eat and kill uh, slaves or, or you know Christians and then they would um, the lions or bears and then they would open up the lions and bears to see what the, the body parts looked like once they were consumed that was entertainment for them for pagans so I this is not going to be in your family friendly games but I'm just this is just a video on like, I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do that, but I am going to do a Gothic 13, you know, this period. 
adult, kind of a, like 12 and older, 13 and older, because obviously they're, they're going to learn this stuff. Um, you know, cool, like um, uh, Teutonic Knight, um, Templar, Hospitalier type medieval renaissance, uh, hardcore, just diabolical type setting. But that'll come later, and I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I, you know, I'm still reading the book, because, but I, I switched over to a 6th century medieval book. Um, but this is 13th, 14th. And I certainly got enough information because the beginning of this is explaining what it's going to be read further in the, 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 the rest of it. And one, I'm going to bring up a horrifying tale here that's in here. And you're, and, and, I, and that's frustrating that they say um, the Inquisition and the wish trials were so evil and oppressive. But um, what I'm reading in the 6th century is they even had witch trials back then. And here's here's the thing. The, the, the monks had a, a list of... Um, punishments for people that were doing witchcraft and heresies and stuff. And they were like bread and water for six months, bread and water for seven years. You know, if, if it was a priest or a monk that, that did something sort of very pagan and, and whatever, because it was, there was, it was a gray area for them that, you know, not everyone was fully educated. So their, their, their punishment was, was like, Hey, just, you know, your self self punishment for a while. And I could see how they got, they, they got the, the church started getting into the, the Catholic rituals and stuff starting with this because they were just trying to figure out a way to deal with all this, this, this these uh, witchcraft things that were going on. And remember, witchcraft is about the exploitation of others. It's about the exploitation of others. Witchcraft is about the explo exploitation of others. I just, I gotta emphasize this. So much that, like I said in other videos, that the leaders of the time didn't, and they were pagan, didn't like witchcraft because it was, they were a fear, a fear of being exploited by, by other people that were using witchcraft. And, and what is witchcraft in, in, in essence? Like if you brought it down to reality, it's drugs. It's, it's putting people, you know, putting something on people that makes them drugged out as the main one, like the love potions and, and, and causing a curse on someone is like the witch will seek a way to poison them or to uh, mess up their health. You know, so it, uh, it was a, it was a manipulation and exploitation. And so the, the leaders of then were very, had their own capital punishment or punishments against these witches. Um, not the church. The church itself did not. However, three, four hundred years later, still witchcraft. You know, thousand A.D., fourteen hundred A.D., still horrifying stuff being. And I'm going to list off some stuff here happening. So the church and the local lords and and dukes. What are you going to do if if horrifying stuff is going on in your in your town in your countryside? Um. And remember, they don't have like a surveillance system. They don't have cameras up. Uh, the whole point of a burning of witches is to scare everyone into submitting and stop doing this horrible stuff. The whole point of public executions is the same we have today of, of videos and YouTube and news hour and spectacle is to try to get the, the, the people to stop being so evil and, and um, manipulative of each other. So that's why you have public executions. You're trying to scare the rest of the population uh, into stop doing this. Do you want someone to go to a witch, get a drug or a potion against you? Do you want someone going to a witch to get a drug that they can use upon you? Do you? Do you want a society like that? Where witches come up with concoctions and brews and things to control people, drug dealers. Do you want a, a society of drug dealers, which we have today, obviously. Um, and so maybe some of you do date rate drugs. Do you want a society where date rate drugs are the norm where you can use date rate drugs? And remember, you don't even need to drink it. You could just, or your own, I mean, you go in your coffee you can go, you, they could, they could easily put a date rate drug in anything that you have. Or you, you could just breathe it in. Do you want a society like that? Um, and that's what they were dealing with back then. So the I'm trying. This game is exposing that. This game is exposing that now. Uh, for for the families, it's you know we're going to do it at that family friendly level, okay? A fun level. And I am a fun guy. I can look at the horror and evils of this, and then and, and a minute later just make a joke, you know, because you have to. Just to, whew, just to get over this stuff. Anyway, so 
Um, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna read it or paraphrase it, but there's uh, a section here woo, where, you know, they bring up the, the uh, 30 questions or whatever, but um, whatever it is. But here's the questions that, it, that this brings up 13, 14 century. I just want to, you know, uh, question six pertains to sorcerers cooperating with demons. How is it that women are found to be tainted with this heresy more often than men are? What sort of women are involved more than other than others is explained in the following five questions. I'm, I guess I'm reading it. Question seven is whether sorceresses are able through the virtue of demons to turn the minds of humans to irregular hatred or love and about way about the way to propound this topic in sermons to the congregation. Question eight is whether they are able to impede the power of procreation, the sexual act, with a certain incidental question as to why this act is sometimes impe impeded with respect to one person and not another. So birth control and sexual, they have, you know, sex is huge in the pagan uh, lust and seduction and allurements are huge in the pagan, right? You see pagan witches are always trying to be seductive, sexual uh, to their, to their followers. You see that today. Um, Question nine is whether they take away. Whew, this one is. Uh, question nine is whether they take away male members through a magical illusion as if these members have been torn from the body. So you know, remember is the genitalia, which certain other related difficulties. So how did they get the men to remove their genitalia? This is back when uh, drugs, so they were using drugs, obviously, to for painkillers. They were getting them to become this whacked out, lustful, feminizing. I mean, that right there tells you there was an entire ritual, vast spread network ritual of this thing. Like, like there, it wasn't just a simple idea. It was a growing history, his, you know, chain link of events and 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 support network uh, uh, to cause this kind of thing amongst the men to feminize the men or not even feminize, castrate the men and become servants of the women. Uh, I think I'm, I'm almost done your question as far as this question nine. Yeah, that's the whew. question 10. Okay. This one's really got my D and D fantasy um, creativity going. Question 10 is whether they are able to change humans into the shapes of animals with another incidental difficulty. I don't know what that means, but question 11 is about midwife sorceresses who kill fetuses in the womb and outside in various ways. And there's more, but those are the... So, abortion. They had abortions in the womb back then. Killing the fetus. Fetus, uh, by the way, in Latin... This is uh, what uh, every time, uh, even uh, family members, okay, or I'm going to say Democrats, uh, always call them fetuses. Liberals, progressives, whatever, always call them fetuses. And I'm like, fetus in Latin means small child. So what the heck, I'm going to swear there, what the heck are you talking about in your heart and mind? Okay, sorry, I'm just, um, <laughs> see, now I'm going to just get, get lighter now. Uh, so the, the part about them turning into animals, I'm really exploiting that too. I'm really, you know, lycanthropy and stuff and, and, you know, watching the Northman movie, uh, I, I didn't particularly care like the movie, but I loved, I loved how they showed the Northmen and the Vikings and what they did. And they, and that's what they did. They took out of our village and they executed the children, executed anyone that they felt was not, they didn't need. R Romans did that in the millions. Vikings did that and pagans did that. Now you're saying, oh, Christians did that too. Um, but you know, we have a rule that says don't murder. Don't murder the innocent. Don't murder them. You know, we do have a rule like that. Now in war, in war, there is a, there is a causal, you know, there is a clause that if you, if you, if we suffer to take over your city, uh, your city is going to suffer. Okay. There's, there's a war thing going on, but Christians do not go and invade and genocide. We, we, we declare war and then we attack, but we don't do genocide and, and slavery and, and, and persecution of others. 
and that is illegal. And and when Christians don't, when Christians do do that, that is not Christianity at all. So it isn't the Christianity that's at fault here. It's the paganism of uh, of us all. We all have paganism in us. When you're saying, oh, Christians do bad things, no, Christianity. Well, yes, Christians do because Christians are sinners. We are pagans, but but Christianity says don't do these things. Don't conquer other people. Don't force your religion on it. That it, Christianity says that. Don't force me, Jesus, on everyone. That's what it says in there. I'm and I'm a Calvinist an elect, you know, so I definitely know we can't force Christianity on people. Only God decides that, not us. So, mm. so this is just a little rant again. I mean, just because I'm, I'm popping up my my news and the first thing I see, and I'm like, paganism, you know, and we need to expose it. So this game is about exposing paganism. It's about bringing it back up to the front for what it is. And I'm I'm just so you know I've, I'm being attacked for 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 making a role playing game. Uh, this role playing game I can see is a threat to to people, and they're very kind of unhinged. Half of the they're very mocking, scoffing. I get these. Uh, I did an ad on Facebook. I got a lot of mockers and scoffers there, and and occasionally on YouTube I'll get a, a comment. Um, but most of my comments on on YouTube are pretty positive. But I'll get uh, one every few days. That's uh, a little, you know, but uh, not as bad as the Facebook one. That was. I just kept getting people mocking and people telling me I, this game, don't do this game. Don't do this. Don't do this. I wonder how many, you know, it's funny. I wonder how many, like, um, so we have Dungeons and Dragons. We have Pathfinder, which are both fantasy games. So I wonder how many of those other fantasy role-playing games people have said, don't do it. Don't, you shouldn't be doing that. We already got D and D. We already got fat Pathfinder. You don't need to be doing another fantasy game. You know? And they're, they're telling me uh, a couple, just like a handful, but this is, this is ridiculous. Don't even do this. This is why are you doing this? It's not even, you shouldn't even be doing this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing this. <clears throat> um, but I'm going to have fun. It's going to be a fun game for families. But it's teaching teachable moments, right? It's going to be teachable moments. Um, the opportunity to teach them things like I just went through. But of course, these are all rather PG or <laughs> rated R. But um, uh, I will definitely look at ways to, to create these stories in a way that um, they are family friendly for sure. I just put coffee on my monitor here spittled probably from my rant here um but anyway just that uh so i'll read this horrible stuff so you don't have to <laughs> and then i'll create um things that uh you know adventures that that hopefully reflect that hopefully i don't go too dark i can get dark um but i'm not going to with the family stuff i mean like if i do the gothic one i might get a little dark a little too dark especially if it get a little too dark that because it's so close to reality <laughs> and maybe that's the point of fantasy is to make lighten everything up even the villains, the villains in fantasy are so light, um, compared to what humans do to humans, uh, in reality. But, uh, yeah, that's my little rant today. I was not expecting this video. I just wanted to get this out cause I, it's just really sad what I see, um, with these, um, uh, detransitioning people that are coming out now. It's horror, horrifying, uh, the butchery anyway. So pray for them, pray that this stuff will diminish we'll never get rid of it we'll never get rid of paganism that's we know that but that uh, and then that people will heal that want to heal um those that want to heal pray that they will heal okay all right that's for the lord rpg